I always thought it was kind of a weird name for the game because Team Possible, I think they appear in the game, but they're they're not the main villain. Ah, uh, Stitch in Time was a great movie. So out of the three Kim Possible games, this to me was the best one. And if I remember, I, mean, I don't know if this was anything great, but... Wow, this is, a, this is that theme song. Ooh, that was something, huh? This is not a very long game at all. I see we lost a viewer just from booting this up. Yeah, graphics were pretty good in this, I thought. I'm trying to remember how to play this now. Of course, I started like in the middle of the game. Just, uh, just for the heck of it. Continue. Story mode. Oh, I see. Let's see if there's a way to just go to. Um, start like a new game just so I can get a hang of it. But for once I actually want the stupid tutorials. I think we were on Dragon Space Station there. Yeah, that's I'm only four percent into the game here, so this should be something. Alright, so this I think we're trying to find monkey fist. Oh yeah, there's certain times you have to switch to the one of the other characters. Come on, Rob. Ron, get over here. Okay, that, that shows you the map. Alright, got grappling hook, punching. I like, all right. How do I switch to Ron? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, do I need any controls? Possibly, I never played that game, but actually that does sound like an interesting time as well. I always like Teen Titans. Perhaps I need Ron. Where's, where's my Ron button? I was actually on time and ready 14 minutes ago. Well, where are you? Well, why weren't you here for the vote? This is why you don't skip the tutorials. Get over here, Ron. Start punching in the face. That also like a GBA crab pack. Now, this is actually a game I voluntarily bought as a big Kim Possible fan. See, I'm a little lost here, because I kind of started this game from the middle, or the, not the beginning. What the heck are the controls of this game? Sound, yes. Music, yes. Those are my options. Okay, select button. Alright, select button switches me to Ron. Ron looks way too happy right now. Him. Wade, what's next? It looks like I've located your other gadgets, Kim. Hey, wait a second. They're moving. Brilliant, Wade. Fixing our gadgets with little legs so they come running to us. But I... All while we wait and relax. Ah, Rufus can finally work on his tan. Uh, Ron, Rufus is always working on his tan. He's a naked mole rat. Guys, the gadgets can't move on their own. The monkey ninjas are stealing your equipment. So not the vacation. Come on, Ron. No sunbathing today. Ah. This is like Donkey Kong climbing the vines. It's a beat 'em up where you play all. Let's see, that does sound kind of fun. It really is Donkey Kong. Back to Kim. I gotta get her over here. Ah, your monkey kung fu is no match for my hitting of the B button. Oh, jeez. All oh, right, yeah. Boom. Did not jump as far as I thought you would. Want to 
funny thing is, we would have been doing similar things when we played the Jungle Book game. So we're kind of knocking two things out of the way here. Plus we get monkey ninjas now. I don't remember this. This game is not particularly hard. I remember that. I guess Ron's just lost forever. So screw him. Ow. Oh god, it's not. It's this is actually playable. Well, I don't know how to get her onto the jump the way I want here. It doesn't move. Here, grappling hook it. Okay, that was great. That's intuitive. That was not very smooth at all. Oh, great. I gotta get Ron again. Where the hell is he? Alright, Ron. Let's stop wasting our times. Uh, Kim could barely do this. I don't see Ron doing it. Use the monkey kung fu! No, anything's possible for a possible. Oh, Ron just went for an unasked for a swim. Carlson Romano sold up pretty well. She posted, she posted a few pictures of herself on Instagram. And I say I wasn't hating it. This is such a guy show now. Trying to, trying to bring in new viewers. Right, How do I get to where Kim is? Kim, the monkey ninjas are scattering through the jungle. You'll have to catch them one at a time. One at a time? We can so handle those odds. The closest gadget is near the ancient temple of Azamatli. Might be. Bless you, yeah, pretty much. No, no, Azamatli means monkey. For some reason she knows that, as in temple of the monkey. As in monkey fist. Yeah, it's something. They're like really, like, painted over. You'll have to find a way inside. So not the drama. Wait, that's not all. I'm also detecting pressure plates inside the temple. Booby traps? Maybe, but they might also change the environment to your advantage, so use them carefully. Social media viewership at all-time lows. How do you figure? Two, two people is usually my uh, record. That saves my game or whatever. Hey, if I get two or three viewers, I'm about right. Oh, here we go. Time for action. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right. I remember her having the rocket skates. Well, this is actually pretty good. It's better than the Lion King part that does this. Disney learned their lesson with that one. Imagine from the show. Just trust me when I say this is much better than the other Kim Possible game. I never played the second one, but I played the first one, and it is awful. Oh, I missed. There was something up there. I was probably supposed to get that. And apparently, it's okay because she's celebrating. Celebrate decent times. Come on. She just kind of looked at the camera like, "Yeah, what are you doing? What's your problem?" Oh, there's Ron. Is that the PS2 game where she switches places with Shigo? I have not played that. I don't know if it's any good, other than the, the story sounds kind of good, but... Ah, shit, I screwed this up. I 
I'm supposed to hit when that, uh, what do you call it, comes on. Yeah. Communicator. What the heck? Oh, okay. Oh, they switch. Okay, for some reason I thought it was Kim and Chigo that switched. Isn't there a similar plot to that in the actual show where Ron was evil? I don't know if I... There's got to be a way for her to slide or something. I don't like what her moveset is. There's only like three buttons on a Game Boy Advance. There's got to be a way to slide under that. Or do I just grab it? Really? No, this is awkward as hell. That still does. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that was interesting. Rufus. How about do I play as Rufus? Okay, well, there's Ron. Does Ron, like, activate Rufus? Oh, really? Okay, I'm playing as Rufus. Oh, no, I can't play as Rufus to fight the monkey guy. And now, Dragon. I gotta fight the monkey guys, Ron, too? Oh, no, the music just changed. I'm coming, Kim. That's what Ron would say right there. Ow. Alright, what's up? Showtime, Rufus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, cheese! Right. It's naked mole rat powered. Uh, okay, go back home now. Your job. Kim's like, my hair looks fabulous. It's funny, when you're playing these on like a portable console, this is like actually fairly fun, but when you're playing it on a big TV and you're limited to just punches and kicks, oh, that looks painful. What the heck? Monkey Fist never had one of those. Monkey Materializer. El Monkey Materializer. Alright, I destroyed it by hitting it a lot. Oh, I need Rufus again. Ron looks so cheerful. Look at him go. So happy. Oh, God. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh they actually have the voice in there. Like both is about as good as I remember it, and maybe isn't as good as I remember it. Like, like I said, playing it on the Game Boy Advance seems a lot more fun than I don't know. I feel like there are much better options, but I, I mean, I do love Kim Possible as a character. Yeah, I remember that because Ron's master plan was to steal all the Nakos in the world. Ooh yeah! <laughs> yeah that's recorded for all time now. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a snake. I actually do remember that snake from the Monkey Fist episode. It took place on a Freaky Friday. It's a different Disney movie, but I appreciate the reference. that face she makes when she's going down the rope. Ah, rope burn. Ow. Literal rope burn. Oh, monkey time. Ow. That one just came right out of the freaking porta potty thing. Just punched me right in the face. But adding insult to monkey. Monkeys. Stop monkeying around. Said it. Oh, Streets of Rage 4, that's a game I gotta play again. Now that I actually know how to beat it. Oh, it's this guy again. Snake Man. Yeah, of course I need freaking Ron. I don't even need Ron for Ron. I need Ron for the freaking rat. Ron himself is really not doing a whole heck of a lot here. What 
Let's can't, how's Kim gonna get through that door? To say I can't jump on these things. Oh, well, Rufus can get under there. I think I just killed Rufus. <laughs> I think I just killed Rufus. I gotta go get Kim again. I gotta bring Kim all the way back here to open that door. Dang it. Can we do anything right? I don't know if I can get back there. I gotta be able to... I think as you go in this game, you unlock more abilities. Her hair should so be on fire. should again be on fire, big time. What's that time? I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to open that door. Oh, it's right here. Really? Jeez, Ron, what do you do right? I mean, I'm just kidding, I love Ron in the show, but... Somehow he's unscathed from that. Just don't ask questions. Look at the look they give Kim. Uh, seriously, Ron? You need my help right now? Seriously? Come on. Streets of Rage 1. Yeah, yeah there's, there's actually quite a few. I've heard there might, may even be more uh, downloadable content for it. Actually, it's funny. John Lee, or somebody that I might know, was telling me that uh, he played Streets of Rage 1 and really liked it. Oh, Kim's dead. Oh, come on. Ron's still alive, right? Yeah, we don't need Kim. She's just the star of the show. Let's get Rufus. Sorry, right. we'll worry about Kim later. Alright, well, Rufus can take all of one hit. Kim's alive somehow. That's fine with me. Back here again. I didn't even see, like, me lose a life. Okay, Fabe. Pretty much. Okay, fabulous over here. What do I need Rufus for exactly? I don't seem to be perfectly fine at doing this as Kim. This music starts to not be as action packed the longer you hear it. Yeah, I know, I kind of just left Ron hanging, but... Oh, oh that doesn't look good. Alright, let's do a save point here. And I believe that will bring uh, Ron back to my side. There we go. That would be nice, especially since one of them, and I didn't even realize this... Well, I mean, you do unlock his Streets of Rage 2 form, but one of them is Max from Streets of Rage 2. Just reimagined. It's, there has not until now, so congratulations for getting on that bandwagon as fast as you could. I don't know what the little blue orbs do. I'm guessing they're good. I want those. I just want to get my gadgets back. All I got is my grappling gun, which hasn't really done me a lot of good. There's something floating there. It says I need Ron, though. Alright, Ron. You're up. Ninja, yeah, that, that is true. And you unlock his Streets of Rage 3 model, but I'd like to unlock his Streets of Rage 4 model. There's these monkey guys respawn. Monkeys? Why did it have to be monkeys? Oh, what did I just get? Oh, Ron's got rocket shoes? Alright. I don't buy that. Yeah, I don't know what she was from. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Oh, Ron's actually kind of useful now. All right. Peace out, Kim. I'm going to start the show now. What? What? I just started a puzzle game now. Really? Wait, I can't. I'm trying to rotate it to the right place. To... Uh, this is kind of weird. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and play a puzzle game. 
interesting to see if they make a Streets of Rage 5. I mean, the game was really successful, but then again, Sonic Mania was really successful, and I'm still waiting for a successor to that. I hope it comes back. I think there's something novel about when they bring back the series after 20-something years, but then usually the hype doesn't continue after that, so I'm hoping it does in this case. I digress. I like how this minigame just kind of started. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, you're doing this now. There you go. That's how you beat the monkey temple, I guess. Did I unlock a picture of Ron and Kim from kindergarten? I don't even know what I did there. Stupid snake. Take that. Yeah, Crash 4 looks freaking amazing. I'm probably going to stream that, like, from day one. That's one of the few games I'll be getting this year, like, from the day it comes out. I mean, look, I mean... I'm glad that it, it looks like they're sticking to the Crash Insane formula without doing too much. It's not the same makers, which I was a little disappointed by, but whoever's making it is staying very true to the formula, which I like. And I, I like the new, like, power-ups and stuff. I, I don't know. Everything I saw, I was impressed with. And it, there's, like, enough new material that it looks like it's going to be an all-new game and not just more of the same stuff. So I'm hoping for even more worlds, maybe, like, a carnival world or something. I don't know. They showed off some pretty cool stuff. Hoping there'll be new stuff you can ride, like the animals and the, the vehicles that you can always ride in the old games. I'm sure there'll be like that level or two that's like impossibly hard, like the, uh, the bridge to nowhere, whatever it's called. Like there'll be some ridiculous level like that, although I kind of hope not, but it wouldn't be a complete Crash Bandicoot game without that. Alright, so I need Kim now. Toys for Bob, I have heard of them. Yeah, you know, I never played the Spyro Remastered. Was it any good? Because I just never got into Spyro in general. But I guess if you like those games, then obviously the remaster would be good. I would check it out if it went down in price a little bit more. Because it is three games in one, which alone is a good value. But I just, I don't know, I never got into the Spyro game for some reason. It's like the one platformer I did not get as much into. I say, I thought wall, I thought you could wall kick in this. You know, where, why she couldn't do that until just now? Kind of, it's kind of a cool mechanic how they have the characters like work together, so like you go back and forth. I think what Spyro was, the, what little of it I played, both the original and the remastered was, I'm just kind of walking around a lot, wondering where to go. Like it's not like Crash Bandicoot where you know where to go. Like it's like okay, you start in this like castle, or whatever, but then like what's your next goal? The game, at least when I played, it was not clear on that. And as you guys know, I don't have the most patience for those kind of things. game is longer than I thought, because this, this is only, like, the first level. We didn't even start from the beginning of the first level. But I think there's only, like, four or five levels in the whole game. And I don't think these are based on any actual Kim Possible episodes, other than maybe the, the Team Possible one. I think these are just generic plots. Oh, there's the monkey. Oh, that's Monkey Fist! It isn't the cheerleader. You can't stop me, Kim Possible. I've already procured the jade statues of whatever that word is. I want my Nana's family album back, Monkey Fist. Oh, that's why I got a picture. Oh, that thing. Well, you can't have that either. Then I guess that means I'll take them both. Booyah! Oh, that is so rank. Was that a smoke bomb or a stink bomb? Either way, it's gonna take me a week to wash that funk out of my clothes. I can still track the album Monkey Fist is going up the waterfall with his monkey ninjas. Monkeys. I think we got it covered. We'll just follow the monkeys, right, Rufus? You bet! isn't bad as far as, like, licensed platformers go. I mean, it's not like winning any awards, but it's, it's pretty playable. 
I don't mind the taste. Yeah, punch that snake. Punch that snake. All right. Relaxing now. Whoa, okay, that wasn't very nice. I hope those are just bananas he's throwing at me. Astro Boy 1 on Game Boy Advance. On the trail, I usually drop kicks. <laughs> oh, that's an alligator. Astro Boy. No, I have not played Astro Boy on Game Boy Advance. Sounds pretty good, though. I did not get that in my in my grab bag. We're almost at the end of the level here. I heard it's good. It was made by Treasure. Probably good. Ah, oh, seriously. Uh, this part kind of reminds me of a Crash Bandicoot game. And now we're back to feeling like the Lion King game. Oh, shoot. oh, I got lucky on that. Oh, I did not get lucky. Oh, I got lucky on that. Okay, we're back. The treasure makes some pretty good platforming games. Yeah, the music in general is kind of... Repetitive, but uh, at least it changed from before. Apparently, I just jumped through water. She can do anything, like jump through water. And, except for that time. I think I need Ron here with the rocket shoes. I think Ron is not going to do it here. Like, I feel like a lot going on here. It's not just like one thing. Okay, music just changed a little bit here. Ah, oh, not booyah. Gotta be getting close to the end of the level now. Yeah, a couple, couple more checkpoints to go, and then we'll, we'll be done with this. I actually, I actually have enjoyed this game. I just didn't realize it would take this long. Oops, how do I get Rufus? Cause it's the same button. Oh, I see. I like switch gadgets. That's kind of cool, I guess. Oh yeah. Back in the damn pocket. There you go. Oh, that was one of those gnomes. I do like some of the references I've seen so far. Let's see, let's see if Kim can get somewhere else here. Rufus. Pretty served your purpose, naked mole rat. Oh, there we go. She can go a little further by doing that. Am I supposed to beat all the monkeys? Like, what's my goal here? Whoa, okay, don't die.
I get Ron over here, I know he can jump and reach that. He just does not have a high enough jump. Well, I got three viewers now. It's more than my usual zero or one. Oh my god, come on. Hold on. Ron should be able to clear that jump with the rocket shoes. Strategizing out loud to nobody in particular. Yeah, it goes ready over here, but let's try this again, I guess. Oh, come on. Nah, I gotta go back down here now. viewers here. Don't want to disappoint them. I'll give them a good show. As far as Chaos Blur shows go. There's a new Adam Levine slot machine in That was so random. Good to know, though. I'm surprised they're really worried about that right now, given the current situation going on. Man, let's put a new slot machine in. Well, based on Adam Levine? Of course. Seems like a bit of a gamble, if you ask me. Now, there, you, there you have it. You, you heard it here for, first, folks. There was a new slot machine at Mohegan Sun, based on the lead singer of Maroon 5. More at 11. It's only available... Oh, that's well played. Well played. I don't even know if the whole story is real now, but I don't care. That was great. Wow. That made me happy in a special way. That was actually pretty great. Of course, I need the freaking Nick and Mole Rat now. Rufus, do your thing. I can't believe I took that seriously for as long as I did. Boom! Beating snakes. Screwing up the jump. Oh, okay. That's poisonous venom. Not the cool Spider-Man venom. Alright, we gotta be making some progress here now. Alright, there's one more checkpoint to go, and then we maybe beat the level. I don't believe it. That's the BB version 0.1, Draken's first experiment in robotics. What's it doing here? It looks broken. But then we are talking about Draken here. It's inactive. Don't worry about it. Get across that waterfall and take down Monkey Fist. Um, excited much? Huh, sorry, I just kind of got caught up in the moment. Right. Okay, can I change the channel, please? Maroon 5 is removing their song Heart of the Breed due to protest. Oh, God, I hope not. I, I know what you're saying, but I, uh, that would be so ridiculous. Kim is stuck in a corner here. This thing's just gonna stand here and be my way now, isn't it? Oh, come on. Where the heck did I lose Kim again? She's over here somewhere. Whichever one's closer to the end, that's the one I'm going to pick. Yeah, I was going to say, I need Ron for this.
Ah, two viewers. Someone didn't like that joke. I have to admit, even I thought it was a bit in bad taste. I'm usually a fan of your questionable humor. But hey, two viewers is better than no viewers. I figured we were going to fight Monkey Fist. All right, Monkey Fist, I want my Nana's Family album. You can have the album back, but it's worthless to me now. But my young pep cadet, you must first face me. What do you mean it's worthless? You see, I discovered your Nana Master Kung Fu at the Super Monkey Temple when she was younger. You see, you stole the album hoping you'd find a picture of the Monkey Temple as well as a location, right? Correct. You're quite bright for a cheerleader. Look at the floaty heads. I now possess statues of that thing I can't pronounce. Their powers protect me. That's great. Good for you. It's a win-win situation. Yes, sir. You get the uh, picture album. Okay, gotta go now. Oh, no, no. I'm still gonna fight you. That user's entry and demise. <laughs> Any chance I misheard that? Nope. In that case... Ah! Dude is Carson Daly. Hey, oh. Ah, I'm dead again. Patrick, you're fired again. Yeah, plenty more where that came from. Mm, mm, mm. Uh oh, he's doing stuff. Tim's just like dead? Alright, Tim's dead. Now, honestly, I did not even think that this game would take this long. Smack him a few more times. That squeaking sound is coming from the amplifier. Shigo, what's she doing here? That's a very weird looking Shigo. Well, we're sure are happy about Shigo getting away. Freaking levitating monkeys. Ron, your bio signs are going off the chart. I do feel stronger. Booyah, man! Ron the man is back! Try to break the wall in front of the travel tube. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a reference. Huh. That's like when he goes freaking like Kamehameha at the end of the series. Okay, Chief, I got the family album and I used the gizmo on the monkey ninjas like you said. It brought them all back. Excellent. Now it's time for their FTB. FTB? Yes, they're Flea and Tick Bath. The monkeys smell funky. Hey, I am not giving these jungle rodents a bath. Well, they're certainly not going to bathe themselves. And besides, check provision number 346683A of your contract. Hey, you put monkey bathing in my contract right after evil shelling snails? I'd like to plan ahead. Ta-da! All right, well, there you go. 